Welcome to Savage Tech Australia. Thanks for joining us today. We are going to be showing you our bash plates. They're over here. They're not even on the car yet. Anyway, they're on the bench. We've got the one that covers the whole gearbox. Nice big, look at this. I don't even know how much this thing weighs a lot. Very strong. Got that one there that covers the whole gearbox pan. I'll show you under here where it's going to go. So you come under here where the gearbox is. And if you look under here, you've got a plastic pan. So we're going to be protecting this. It comes to about here. Everyone's been questioning about the, um, the fuel filter, right? Now, I haven't hit mine. Rick hasn't hit his, not even a scratch mark on his vehicle. And I've never hit it and I've got hung up on rocks. Because generally speaking, it gets hung up on this area here. So this area over here is the back plate hangs about here. So most of your rock that you're sitting on or anything that's going up will, will get whacked by this plate initially before it even gets to this. Yes, there's a still a potential that you might hit it, but very unlikely from what I've seen with the experience in four-wheel driving the Canon. So under here, I'm gonna show you where it's gonna be picking up the mounting points. You got two here, okay. Now I've marked it with white pen just so you guys can see. You got two here. Hold on, Craig, I'll show you what we'll need. We've got these. They're a nut on a stick and they bend, as you can see. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come in. Now I'm gonna do this now so it's ready to go for when we put the, the bash plate in here. Now all you do is you get this and you stick it in here and put that like that. And then you pick up your M6 bolt and put it straight in. So that's gonna be one of your bash plates is gonna be going into that and there's gonna be another one here. Then at the front here, what we're gonna do is these four white dots that you guys can probably see, you're gonna get factory bolts. We're gonna use these two here. When we remove this, this, these holes are no longer gonna be needed. So you're gonna use these bolts and put them in here, okay? This little tin thing here, very, very weak. We're gonna get rid of that, a lot of sand in my eye. And we're gonna put a nice big one going from the back, another section here, and then the front one. Now on this vehicle, we've got the max bull bar. So beast bar, bar comes with a front plate like this as well. And that integrates into our uh, underbody bash kit. But on the max, it also integrates. So it works well with it. So this is what a max bar looks like when you install it. We just did this one today. Okay, so you've got a max bull bar. We fitted it with the fog lights. And today the customer also asked for the underbody bash plate just to give him a bit of extra protection. So we're gonna be fitting that now. So you got one, two, and three pieces. Nice and thick, really heavy, and that's it. So we'll go on and we'll show you what to do. Okay, so we're back at the table. The tools that are required will be a 13 mil socket, 10 mil. You'll need a long one for the front to remove the factory um, bash plate, 10 mil, 13 mil, impact drive, or you can do a hand job if you want, up to you. Um, you've got five of these. We actually give you a spare one, so you only need four. In case you break one, you get a spare one. You get one, two, three, four, five of these as well. Once again, you only really need four, okay? Because you're gonna utilize two of the factory bolts. So, now we're gonna go and show you how to install it. I'll get some of my team to help me assist me in holding them up there. Um, if you're doing it at home, it's very easy. You'll do it on the ground. It's probably easy because you can jam a knee in there and sort of hold it up whilst you get in there. Two people is much preferable though. It's much easier to do with two people. Um, and I'll come over here. I'll finish showing you this. So this is the front. This is the middle section. And then as I, as I showed you guys, the gearbox. So front, middle and back. Okay, you get the nice savage logo. Everyone loves it, so that's what you get. Anyway, we'll, we'll go and show you how to install it now. All right, so we're gonna start by removing the factory bash plate. I'm gonna quickly grab my, I've already got my 13, I actually need to swap back to my 10. 10 mil, jam it up in there. One, two, swap back to your 13. One, two, and three. You're ready to catch your bash plate. Oh, this is so light compared to ours. Weighs nothing. Put that aside, and we're gonna undo this little flimsy thing with it. 
that's that. And that's pretty much it. You gotta pull off those two factory bash plates and then we're ready to start installing ours. So I'll get some assistance and then we'll be good to go. 15 mil, I forgot about that. That is for the factory, where the factory tie down point is. We're gonna remove these two 15s here. One, two, and we're gonna use them to reattach our front bash plate, the first two points. Gabriel, can you help me out please, brother? Okay, and then we're gonna hold that up there, line this up, hopefully find the hole straight away. Wanna come over here to the next one? Okay, probably just keep that one a bit loose just so we can adjust it. Yep, so just enough so it doesn't knock yourself out. And then um, we're gonna let that sit there. Now, you're gonna grab me the next plate. Yeah. So we've got the front bash plate on, now we're gonna grab the middle bash plate, the center one, we'll go grab you, Gabriel, <laughs> to hold it up. We've got the factory M10, and we're gonna need a fifth, uh, the 13 mil, so I'll, got the 15 mil, Gabe's is holding that up there, his arms are gonna fall off soon. All right, so you got that lined up, that lined up, and we're gonna go in and pick up the factory holes, like that. That's how it's meant to be done. So M10, find another one in my pocket, another M10, one of the factory bolts. Move that back so it lines up with the hole, straight in. Let that sit, now we're pretty right to do the next one. You wanna grab the next bash plate? Now this is where we're gonna to need to get the, um, the little nuts on a stick, so I'll go grab those. So Gabriel's got the um, last piece of the puzzle, which is the, the gearbox bash plate. And I've got my one, two, three, four, four bolts with a flatty, a spring. So you've got your bolt, your flatty, sorry, your spring and then your flatty, okay? And that'll just stop it from rattling loose when you're off-roading, okay? Full high tensile. Then you've got your one, two, three, four little nuts on a stick. So we're gonna stick, these ones are gonna pick up the factory holes, which are there. You've got one and two. So that's fine, okay? You're gonna pick up your factory bolt holes and you're gonna use the bolts from the existing bash plates. That's gonna be going in there like so and holding this up. Okay, so you get the point there. You actually only need two sticks. Yeah, from the side, the top, over here. We can just go through this big hole here, straight through there, and then you can see there sitting nicely. We'll do the same thing on this side here. We'll stick it through this hole here. A bit of sand in my eyes, it's all right, don't need to see. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but you've got your two nuts there ready to go. They're gonna be fun and wanna move around as soon as you try and do anything, but it's all fun and games here. So, we've got the bash plate. All right, so we've got our 13 and our factory long bolts, right? And we're gonna go through and just fit this up now. So, I actually, you can actually pull that down. Yep, get rid of that for a sec, give your arms a breast. So when you're at home, you can go out on the car, screw that in, allow that to sit there. The reason is, if you look at these, it's actually got slots in it. So I'm gonna make it easy for him because line your holes up, the big holes line up, okay? That's just slot straight in. He's gonna hold it there. I'm gonna go in and just quickly tighten it. This is 13, okay. We're gonna hold that there, and then we're gonna go and try and pick up our rear nuts. So you've got your high tensile bolts with your spring and your flat washer, and a 13 mil. All right, so we've got a 13 short socket. Now, I don't know if you can see in here, I'll grab the torch, but in these holes, you'll actually see, I don't know how well that is coming through, but you'll see the two nuts behind it, flat piece. So yeah, anyway, we've got them in there, so we're gonna, we're gonna try and get these lined up now. And we're just gonna grab it. So, the last bolt is gonna go here. I'm just gonna put my finger on here and wind that in. Get the 13. And one. We'll go around and tighten them all up now. Two, three, four, 
five, six, 15 mil. One of them. One of them. That's it. Look at that. Solid. Doesn't even move. You can slide all you want. Gives you all the protection to the edge of the gearbox, as you can see. Will help protection on the fuel filter. Very easy to install at home. It's actually quite easy doing on the ground. Before we had a hoist, I used to do it on the ground all the time. No dramas at all. So yeah, it's still, if you had a beast bar, these three here actually link up with the beast bar because it actually integrates with it. But on this is a max bull bar. So still sits fine, still protects everything. It just doesn't interconnect with it. So it's all good. Anyway, like and subscribe and thanks for joining us and um, enjoy. Peace out. <laughs>